Despite a reputation as one of the most talented actors from Hollywood's golden age, James Stewart only had one movie win an Oscar. The Philadelphia Story may not be the legendary actor's most famous film or even one made during the height of his acting career, but it is still regarded as one of James Stewart's best movies, as it currently holds a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Usually as the lead, James Stewart is associated with a long list of Hollywood classics across a variety of genres. Perhaps the film he's most widely recognized for is It's a Wonderful Life, the 1946 Christmas favorite he starred in alongside Donna Reed. But it's hardly the only James Stewart movie to reach icon status, as there's also Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, and Anatomy of a Murder. For many of these, Stewart unsurprisingly achieved critical acclaim, but out of them all, only The Philadelphia Story won him the industry's top award. The Philadelphia Story was James Stewart's only Oscar win. James Stewart beat out Henry Fonda at the Academy Awards, Catherine Hepburn and her suitors James Stewart and Cary Grant in The Philadelphia Story. Over the years, Stewart accumulated multiple Oscar nominations, with his first coming in 1939 when he played the titular character in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. He received another just a year later when he appeared in The Philadelphia Story with Katharine Hepburn and Cary Grant, a romantic comedy directed by George Cukor. In the movie, Stewart played Mike Connor, one of three love interests for Hepburn's Tracy. Mike is a reporter who competes with two other men for Tracy's affections, including her fiancé. All three of the leads received considerable praise for their performances in the film, with Stewart and Hepburn getting nominated for Best Actor and Best Actress, respectively. But Stewart was ultimately the only cast member to win. More nominations followed in subsequent years, with Stewart also getting recognition for his roles in It's a Wonderful Life, Harvey, and Anatomy of a Murder. But like what happened with Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Stewart saw his competition win each time and never won a second Oscar for any of his films. Why James Stewart Thought Another Actor Should Have Won Best Actor in 1940 James Stewart never thought Mike Connor was his best performance. The Grapes of Wrath, 1940 Because the Philadelphia story was an important milestone for James Stewart and one that he never repeated, it's all the more interesting that the actor seemingly didn't think his work in the film was Oscar-worthy. He admitted as much in his acceptance speech, telling the audience that he had actually cast his best actor vote not for himself, but for Henry Fonda, who had turned in an extremely memorable performance in The Grapes of Wrath. Though it'll never be confirmed one way or another, there was a sentiment at the time, that persists to this day, that Stewart's Oscar win was an effort to rectify his snub in 1939, when he failed to win it for Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. With Mike Connor essentially being a supporting role in the Philadelphia story and Grant being the real male lead, it did seem odd that out of all the movies he made, this was one that got him the ever-elusive award.